Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to start with getting the live market data, which is called the quotes. And for that, let me first take you through the general understanding on the documentation page. So on the left side, um, you can click on the quotes, which is here. And once you click on the quotes, this part will open up. Essentially, quotes will give you the the current the current uh, LTP or the current market data for any symbol that you that you want. And again, uh, to get a sample code, just click on node on the right side and you will be given a sample code here. I've, again, um, I've used the same sample code. So based on the input, so our input is the symbol that for which we want to get the data for. So based on the input, you will get a lot of information. So you will get what has been the change. That means the yesterday closing price to the current price. The last traded price obviously is the LTP. Um, the spread is the difference between the, the bid and ask. You will have the best ask price, the best bid price, the open price of the day, the high price of the day, the low price of the day, previous closing prices, average traded price. This is something very important. A lot of times I've noticed that a lot of brokers don't give you this thing. So you get average traded price. You also get the total volume traded and uh, more details about the symbol that you're looking for. So this is how on the right side, this is how the response would look like. So this is how you will get the results so let's let's run the code and see so i'm taking you to the code this is the market data.js i have already done the login in the morning i'm importing the relevant libraries this is the app id and i'm getting the access token which has been saved in the text file and this is where i'm inputting my symbols so i want to get the data for sbin and tcs and um, once i've done that this is the get codes again this is the same thing which has been mentioned here the get quotes so it's essentially i'm just calling out this part here and i'm going to paste or, or going to show the results uh, in in uh, separately so that it's easy for us to read so this is the first part let's run the code and see how it, it look how it looks and then i'll go through the second part also the market depth part so let's click on the terminal and i'm going to write node market data dot this and once i do that so let me just make it a little, little larger so you can see we have started to get the results and uh, this is the result so it is giving us the current price of SBIN which is 730.35 um, let me check if that is a current price uh, this is the previous close this is the previous close so let me just add the current price also so to do that I'll also show you how to add that so I'm going to copy this and what we will require so we will have to check what is the the variable called the variable call is called lp so i'm just going to get lp also so we've got lp also let's run it now so i'm going to um, close this and let's create a new terminal and node market data dot js and now we have the results and we also have the I hope the okay sorry I just wrote it as close this is the LTP so I'm going to run it again okay and we have got the result so we've got the LTP also so this is how we are getting the result so we're getting the LTP so let's try to understand what is this LTP and um, how are we going to use it so for SBIN the result shows that the high price of the day 736.75 let's check it out so we can check here that the high price is 736.75 um, let me quickly log in so since I logged in in the morning um, um, it probably got signed out so that's fine so again uh, let's log in and check SBIN so again the high price is 736.75 which is matching to our data the low is 727 which is again matching to our data here um, the closing price or the opening price is 736 which you can get from here the opening price is 736 as you can see this is the first candle of the day and you can also check yesterday closing which was around 730 so you can check this closing price now it, why is it showing 730.35 because there's a difference between the closing price and the uh, last traded price so based on that and finally the LTP is 732.6 so again if you look at the, the live data here it is currently at 732.75 but because it's it's constantly moving so whatever is the LTP we will get that 
so essentially whatever information that we want from that list of variables we can we can get it here and very easily we can use it as you can see these can be converted into individual variables and we can use them very easily and similarly uh, it also gives me the data for TCS because we had added both SBIN and TCS in this input variable so that's the first part we can also do something similar with the market depth now so I'll first talk about what is market depth and then we'll see the results. So if you just scroll down a little bit, you can also get something called a market depth. Now the difference between quotes and market depth is that when we talk about market depth, we also get a list of best five or best, uh, let's say X number of bids and asks. So what I mean by that is, let's say if you press a buy button here and you click on market depth, you, you are presented with all these best top bids and top asks. Right. So we can also get information about this using the market depth now. So let me close this here. And if you just scroll down a little bit, the, the input is the same. We are still putting the symbol here and you can put in OHLC value as one if you want to get the OHLC data like we got for our previous uh, function. And then again on the right side, just click on node. You will have to use get market depth now instead of get quotes and you will be presented with all the results. So let us see, we have already put the symbol, we have already made OHLC equal to one. And this is how we are getting the results here. So I'm just printing out the symbol, printing out the ATP, printing out the lower circuit and the upper circuit. And like I said, it's up to you what data you want to print out. And you can see here that the results is coming perfectly fine here. Um, we can know the lower circuit, we can know the upper circuit and things like that. Now, how did we get the lower circuit and the, and the upper circuit? Because here in the in, in the get um, market depth, you can clearly see that we are also presented with the lower circuit and upper circuit. So depending on what you're looking for, you can either use the depth, the get market depth, or you can use the get quotes. And based on that, you can get the relevant information. Um, like I said, on the right side, you can see if you want to find the top bids also, you can, you can get the top five bids as well as the top five asks as well. So I hope this is clear, um, very important function because you, you can use this to get the live prices and we will use this later on when we are doing some live trading also. So again, thanks for joining. See you in the next video.